SEC ruling expected in 2023. In 2020, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission initiated a lawsuit against Ripple alleging the company and its executives illegally sold XRP, a cryptocurrency its founders created in 2012, to investors without first registering it as a security. Ripple disputes the claim, saying the token should not be considered an investment contract and is used in its business to facilitate cross-border transactions between banks and other financial institutions. Alderity said he expects a ruling on the case to arrive in the first half of 2023. Final legal briefs are due by November 30th, after which a judge can either make a ruling or refer it to a jury trial if they find there are any issues of disputed fact. We are at the beginning of the end of the process in our case, Alderity said. As part of the proceedings, Ripple fought to obtain documents related to a June 2018 speech from former SEC official Bill Hinman, which it says has aided its case. In the speech, Hinman says that sales of a rival token are not securities transactions, either. Despite its tense dispute with the SEC, Ripple is still work very closely with policymakers in the U.S. Alderity said, XRP was once the third largest cryptocurrency, commanding a $120 billion market value in early 2018. It has dropped sharply since, however, amid U.S. regulatory scrutiny and a wider downturn in and other digital currencies. Bitcoin. Last week, the shock collapse of Sam Bankman Fried's crypto exchange FTX sent cryptocurrencies into a tailspin. Bankman Fried's investment firm allegedly used FTX client funds to make risky trades, CNBC reported previously. The company spiraled into a liquidity crisis as customers demanded withdrawals, and rival exchange Binance scrapped its non binding agreement to buy the company. Bankman Fried has said he got overconfident and careless as he grew FTX into a $32 billion juggernaut. He said that, to the best of his knowledge, he thought FTX had built up around $5 billion of leverage, when in actuality, it was around $13 billion. Alderity said FTX's bankruptcy was a call to action for responsible economic centers to work to get it right. Watch now. Video 02 51. What the FTX collapse means for crypto market liquidity. On Wednesday, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse told CNBC that the idea that crypto is not regulated is overstated, but he added, transparency builds trust. Crypto has never just been sunshine and roses, and as an industry, it needs to mature, Garlinghouse said on CNBC's Squawk Box Europe. Ripple is unlikely to refer to the FTX collapse and how it was handled by regulators in its case, Alderity added. Some of the confusion surrounding XRP stems from the company's part ownership of the token. Ripple previously held as much as 60% of the XRP tokens in circulation. It has since reduced that amount to below half, or 49%, according to Alderity. Ripple generates a chunk of its sales by releasing its supply of XRP on the open market. For the last three years, it only has only sold XRP to enterprise customers rather than retail traders, Alderity said. As a private company, Ripple doesn't disclose its revenues publicly. This year, the firm processed $10 billion in cross-border transactions with payment providers and other financial institutions using a token it is closely associated with .XRP. Ripple, the company, was last valued by investors at $15 billion. XRP has a market capitalization of $19 billion.